Okay, it's time for another aqu aquaponics update. I've let it set for a couple weeks because I don't have the power line run yet. But I've flushed out the tank and I'm in the process of refilling it. I flushed out the tank because it still had a lot of the dust from the rocks that had drained down into it, plus it had a lot of pollen in it. As you can see, it's clearer now. Uh, before, I don't think we could see the bottom, as I recall. I'm going to have to look at the movie again to make sure. But, I don't know if I pointed this out. I have this ingenious engineering system by which I have hooked that tank directly up to this tank through a pipe. That way it doesn't have to defeat gravity to get up over the edge. Um, so I filled it up a lot of the way as far as I can for this point and I siliconed up here and blocked off quite a number of these holes. So I'm going to have to give that about another hour to dry before I can start pumping the water. I've drained out this one completely. And as you can see, it's not completely clean, but it's uh, okay. And I can go ahead and close this back now. While we're waiting, I'll point out I planted some pole beans in the disturbed ground right there. There's some broccoli I can harvest. Right there. And another little bit right there. And some right here. A lot of it flowered before I harvested it. Might be able to get that one right there. So I think I'm going to transfer some of these flowered broccoli plants into the aquaponics bed eventually if they're still alive. Although we're going to hit this here. This one flowered and here's some little heads I could harvest to eat. And there. There. Hmm. I think I harvested these and these grew up from that but I don't remember exactly. Anyway. Back to the aquaponics. I decided to get some goldfish. These goldfish are only 15 cents a piece. I got 20 of them. I'm letting the water temperature adjust. I'm not sure exactly how long I'm supposed to let them sit in there. But I don't have a whole lot of time because they've been in the bag for a little while now. And they're going to start running out of oxygen soon. But they've been sitting in there for at least 10 minutes, I'd say. So we'll see. They may not survive the initial shock of getting into the water. It may be too cold. And they may not survive <coughs> the night. But only have $3.30 in them. And according to some estimates, a dollar today is only worth three cents of what it was a hundred years ago. So at that rate, at that rate, I only have about nine cents in these fish. And who, and nobody cares about nine cents anymore. So. So, that's where we stand.
let's see what these fish are doing. Do they all come to the top and gulp? For here, some of them are, but not all of them. So it must mean there's still some oxygen in it. I don't know how long I need to let it sit for its water temperature to change. What if I push it all the way under like that? Let's see what happens. We've had some heavy rains over the last couple days that completely filled up both tanks. I'm going to completely drain each of those tanks today as completely as possible so that all that water comes out of there. Some of that water has been sitting in there for a long time, especially in that one over there. So it's going to get a good draining today. Tell you what, I think these fish will be okay in this bag for at least another five minutes. So I'm going to let them sit and I'm going to come back. And I will video the grand release.